I've been having a hard time articulating myself because I'm legitimately losing my mind. I have, I'm right now, I'm legally not allowed to work in Thailand. The only way, like with, I'm on a tourist visa, I'd have to have a business visa in order to be applicable to have a job with an earned hourly wage income here in Thailand. So the only way I can actually have any income, which is necessity to survive, is through trading. And my first week, I fucked up everything when I first got here because I was not thinking right. And I was just so, I would, and then like the country of Germany, like sold a ton of Bitcoin to liquidate me. And that didn't help. <clears throat> I'm over the last few months it's been very very difficult for me to get back on my feet again if I had just stayed where I were when I first got here finance if I just like financially didn't trade on margin at all I, I would have been a lot better but um but I realized this then too that trading was the only option I had to earn income and I figured I didn't have enough, but I didn't realize how far a thousand dollars would go. And I had a few thousand when I first got here, but now I don't even have a hundred right now. I have literally, I just got back from eating some wonderful food at Rini's kitchen and I didn't need, I didn't even have any money in my pocket. I literally like, I was looking at the menu on their window and Rennie herself waved me in and I was like, oh, I, I got no money. And she's like, that's okay. And she just waved me in. I'm like, no, I got no And she insisted I come in. So, and she made me some wonderfully amazing, super spicy chicken wings or chicken. Yeah. And it was, it was so good. So I, the least I can do is shout out Rennie, Rennie's Kitchen here in Phuket, Thailand. Good, good stuff. Rennie's Kitchen. Good stuff. But, um, so I'm trying to. By right now, I have this fucking rat's coin right here. You see how fucking vicious the, the trading, look at this. This is one week of time, it went from 0 0.014 to point below 0 0.12 to back to 0 0.14 up and down twice in a week. It's, it's fucking nuts. I, I lost $200 trading that shit. Which, and now I have no fucking money. And I, that's why I had no money in my pocket. Walking around, I, I had to get the fuck out of the house anyway. I'm losing my fucking money because I'm trying to dry my clothes. Spent hours trying to dry my clothes and they're still fucking wet, dripping water. It's like, it doesn't fucking, it's just blowing a fan on them. It doesn't fucking work. It's not a dryer. If they got wrinkles in them. It's like, it's not a fucking dryer. It doesn't tumble the fucking clothes. It does not. I can't take it anymore. I'm literally dying for. Oh, I'm chronically stressed out. Beyond belief. Beyond belief. I don't know, like. I'm. I, I'm. I'm losing my. I've lost my faith. I'm fucking. I did everything in my power to walk away from God. And then, like, the weirdest fucking events happen, and, and it, like, brings me back to it, and I'm like, and, and I'm like, fuck this shit, like, I hate fucking being, like, I just, fucking, life is not. I'm tired of having every fucking thing taken away from me, like, in the book of Job, where... You, you know, God just fucking steals everything from you. It's just to test you and see how you're going to fucking react. I'm fucking sick of that. I'm, I've been living through that for eight fucking years. And uh, and I'm so thankful for my friend Hector, who who paid for me to come out here. He basically, it's ba like Hector and Barry saved my life. Without them, I, I would, I'd be dead right now. Um, and I'm still struggling to survive, 
and I like to keep my problems myself. I, I really don't like having to, but sometimes I just have to fucking let it out, and and I and I hate that this fucking walls are so thin that you can hear me through the window. So I'm pissed off at that. Everything I'm irritated at, like every fucking little thing. Fuck, I can't even shower properly because the fucking sh the whole floor floods, and then I'm splashing water, and then my floor is dirty. I try to fucking sweep and mop the floor and scrub it, and it's just fucking. I can't fucking take it anymore. I I feel great under my feet. I hate that. I like. I want to be clean. I want to try to get clean from everything. Heal from these parasites that Southern Illinois University in Edwardsville poisoned me with on March twenty second of twenty seventeen. If I were allowed to be a genetic scientist, that'd be cool. But. I'm not even gonna think about that. I need to get my money up. I mean, that's one of my biggest passions is like studying pharmacology and and the subjective effect of medicines and stuff like that. And so, like, I need to get my phenylparacetam. I need. I, I'm out of phenylparacetam. I've been sick for days because I drank those protein shakes, those Mahi protein shakes, and they had INS four sixty. Emulsifier, stabilizer, whatever the fuck in there. And it um, made me feel absolutely fucking retarded. And I looked up like what it does. It basically like blocks vitamins from reaching your brain. So it basically does make you retarded. And I mean, like that makes sense. I'm like, that's about what I feel like. And the effect of uh, microcrystallized micro cellulose is of the, you know, subjective effect where, you know, it just perfectly described the symptoms I felt and so I'm like yeah I'm just gonna avoid drinking these Mahi protein shakes ever again because this is just not cool like I don't really like how I feel retarded when I drink these it literally like it's been almost a week now and I still feel like a little lethargy from it it fucked up my balance like I couldn't even fucking walk straight for like a day but anyhow so yeah I don't know like I just gotta eat good healthy diet that's fine but it helps to be able to afford food and so I need to I, I'm trying to find I can pack in the very last of my weed I got like one bowl left and I got like after this bowl I have like one bowl left and thank you Sam McCobb who has blocked me um on instagram and on whatsapp um for giving me this weed i don't know why what his issue is but anyhow um i just like i wish i could i i i try to talk to people on twitter spaces and um And I, I hop on like high ape space on Twitter and I just hear people like talking about me and so I request to speak and they you know they within a few minutes like they shut up and there and it just goes silent and I'm like not allowed to speak and defend myself and I just get to listen to people mock me on Twitter and then I like I'm losing my, one of the things like when I uh, I had a calendar. I don't know where my fucking calendar went. I can't tell. Like I lost I, my wallet. I I fucking misplaced my own wallet today, and I found that. But my calendar. I it's been months. I don't know where the fuck my calendar is. I need to find a new calendar so I can start to organize my fucking days better. I'm losing my like it's uh, everything I fucking try to do to organize my life and get my life back together has just been stolen from me. It's like a fucking demon is... <sighs> and then I scream at my ceiling and I cry myself to sleep at night. And I don't know. If, if um, I 
can only hope. Never mind about that. Um, uh, but yeah, so really, like, it sucks because I have nothing in my training right now. Because this stupid fucking rat's coin fucked me up. I missed fucking selling the top of the cloud because I'm distracted. Every fucking time I'm trying to do something, it's like, Hey, can I talk right now? Like, you know, like, yeah. And I'm like, sure, man. And then, and then, you know, it's down, fucking charts down here when I'm fucking like, all right, sure, Barry. And then we're walking around for 10 fucking minutes. And I come back to the fucking chart and it's like the fucking thing I wait a day and a half for happens. And during that fucking 10 minutes and I'm like, God fucking damn it. And I lose my 200 fucking dollars because Barry wants to remind me of the same fucking thing. You just told me three times yesterday. And I'm like, I... You, you don't allow me to help you with that. So what are you fucking complaining about? Like, I'm fucking losing my mind. I'm losing my fucking mind. I can't take it anymore. I need to make more fucking money so I can get the, my own fucking vehicle and drive around the fucking island so I can leave the fucking house. Because it's just the same fucking shit here as it was at my parents' house, as it was at, at Jess's house. It's just... It's, and the fucking utilities don't even fucking work properly and the fucking like it's been out of gas on the fucking stove for a week I can't even cook food anymore my kitchen is you I like what do I what do I do what do I fucking do I don't have a microwave how do I fucking cook food I can't cook fucking food like I'm Uh, and the worst part is like uh, my parents have instilled in me extremely high standards which I greatly appreciate and when they would tell me something they would do that thing and when like when Barry says something or when Am says something it's like I you know I'm kind of like expectant like of them to honor their word entirely with like the action of fulfilling oh yeah hey i'm gonna call the guy to fix the fucking plumbing and it's like and it never it doesn't it doesn't happen until it's like it takes like a fucking dozen fucking reminders for it to actually the action to get done i can't fucking handle that i'm i and i i feel so bad because i'm like i don't have i don't have the fucking capital to be demanding people shit of people but i'm also like i'm living here as a rentee kind of expecting my utilities to work properly it's in it so like when the fucking fl whole floor floods and i gotta scrub i gotta literally like just get wet and then scrub like turn the water off and, and scrub and scrub because like because if i leave the water on the whole time i'll have water all over everywhere in my whole fucking house and that's not that's not good. That's not fucking good. Got a laptop on the ground over there. That's not fucking I can't have that. Can't have fucking water on the And so like once I run out of this weed here, um then I'm gonna probably not be able to stay so chill. The weed is, is true medicine. Cause I have I'm chronically stressed out. I, I, sometimes I seriously worry that I might have an aneurysm from my frustration, my, my, um, I, I, cause I start stuttering and that's like one of the things and I had a stroke when I was 19 and, uh, from an overdose of MDA. And sometimes I'm worried I might have an aneurysm. And that's really what most frustrates me about when I hear people mocking me on Twitter spaces and and then they don't even allow me to come up and they and then they you know, so I'm requesting they allow everyone else up except me so that they can all gather around to mock me 
publicly in front of hundreds of people all over Twitter. My life is such a fucking joy.